So I'm sure you've been following the story of Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man. What is it, 118 billion pounds? And of course he's left his day job or part of it and he's now going to head for the stars with all the others, Musk and Branson. Uh, well, there, there you go. But here's a story about someone else who was looking to the stars. It's the story, of course, of the call of Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. And later on, after those verses of the call, which we're looking at in a moment, Abraham was told by God to look to the stars. And so many would your descendants be, countless, countless numbers. And it really started, of course it started in the heart of God, but it started with this call, the story of Abraham, in Genesis chapter 12. Story is actually what it's all about because it's in the book of Genesis and the story of Genesis changes gear or shifts at the end of chapter 11 to chapter 12 onwards. It's a different character, it's a different genre, it's a different feel. Of course it's all part of the same story. But as Abraham looks up at the stars and sees his descendants so, in our mind's eye, we should see ourselves as part of the story. Because we're, if we have faith in Christ, children of Abraham. We're children of faith. As Abraham was the father of faith, so we are, if we're in Christ, we're one of his stars, one of his descendants. Now, in the story of Genesis, which I, I want to make clear, today extends further and further afield down the years down through the time of Christ down to the church down to us here and now but the early stories of Genesis in Genesis chapter 12 the call of Abraham has a fascinating contrast and I want to pull this out now and suggest to you that there's a real word from the Lord a real word for the story of our lives as we go forward to enable us to be the people of God, the people of faith, Abraham's descendants, the stars of heaven that point to Jesus. And the contrast is there in Genesis, the early chapters, and Genesis chapter 12. There are five verbs, and they're contrasted, deliberately so, Perhaps it's even one of the main contrasts that, that's there within the story of all our humanity. And so in Genesis chapter 3, there are five verbs listed. And they're all I words. To use the hymn writer in that wonderful hymn, O Jesus, I have promised, they're all the murmurings of self-will. So let me read them to you. The story of the early chapters of Genesis is so familiar. I heard you in the garden, so Adam and Eve said of the Lord. I, I was afraid. I was naked. They'd been discovered. They'd been found out. And then with that came, I hid. All because these murmurings of self-will, I ate. And the story of God's love for his people is the story of the victory, if we allow it, of the murmurings of self-will to allow for another story to take place that God initiates, that God brings forward. And so in Genesis 3 you have these five verbs of what we want and then in this wonderful story of the call of Abraham that points all the way to the Christian church and to us here and now you have the contrasting five verbs of what God will do to counter to love to put right our folly and our own will so God says to Abraham, look up at the stars, see how your descendants will be. 
And then in Genesis chapter 12, the first three verses, there are five fascinating verbs, all about what God is going to do. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will magnify you. I will bless those you bless. There is another verb if you're doing the arithmetic and it's a, a sharper, harder verb, but it is there. So I mention it perhaps in passing, although it is a serious point, it speaks of, well, I will curse. Hard language, and if you want to do more reflection on that, read the book of Deuteronomy where blessing and cursing is intertwined. And perhaps the Christian church needs to do more work on whether these pandemic days are a curse. But actually, in this call to Abraham, the dominant verb and word is to bless. So if you're a child of God, if you're a person of faith, if you are a descendant of Abraham, then you have within the story of your life one of the most powerful spiritual resources in the whole world. You're not the richest man, as Bezos is in the whole world, but you're potentially one of the most spiritually powerful people on the planet because you're a child of Abraham. The story of God's love and redemption is in, within you. And the story continues as you seek to bless others, perhaps that you will meet and be able to share something of your faith with. So might I conclude by offering four deliberate pointers for how we can be a people that are both blessed ourselves and most importantly bless others because God called Abraham and his descendants to be a blessing for others. First of all, believe it. Many people still, even if they're Christians, have been members of the church for a number of years, feel quite shy, feel quite timid. How can God use me? But you are a child of God who can be a blessing to someone else. Do believe it. And do perhaps seek this blessing for someone else. I believe, as the story of Genesis says, we are all uniquely and wonderfully created and made. So there is someone that just we can bless, that perhaps no one else can. And not to grasp that will leave that blessing upon that other person diminished or missing. So believe that you can be used. Seek the blessing of someone else that only you can bless in the Lord's name. And then, of course, focus it in prayer with intentionality and expectation that even today and next week, the story of your life will unfold, that you'll be a blessing to someone else. And then, of course, you remember that God said he would magnify Abraham but actually he's not looking to magnify you. Super Christian, here I come. It's not like that. You offer your blessing to Christ, who is the main story of redemption. And it's wonderfully humbling that he should choose the likes of you and I, for we know the murmurings of our own self-will. We pause and might I lead you in a short prayer. Father, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the giver of all blessings, make us a blessing to other people that the story of their lives might find that they too can be a child or a person of faith, a descendant of Abraham. We thank you for the power of faith. Help us to believe it, to own it, and to share it. In Jesus' name. Amen.